Imagine a church where all were equal, where everybody was welcome, uh, no matter your race or your ethnicity, no matter your gender expression or your sexual orientation, no matter where you are on that non-binary scale, uh, no matter whether you're rich or poor or old or young, whether you're abled or disabled, imagine a church where everybody is welcome. Imagine a church where no matter where you were in your spiritual journey, whether you had belief or didn't have belief, whatever your political commitments were, you were welcome here. And now I know you're saying, Tom, you just took that last one too far. Well, there is no transformation without relationship. Imagine a church where all were equal, where your art had a place to, well, be shared, where your entrepreneurial spirit had a place to thrive, where your talent and your gift, your everything you're good at had a stage to be displayed on and shared with your community. Imagine a church where everyone was equal. I mean, you've heard the old proverb about if you give a somebody a fish, you'll feed them for a day, and if you teach them to fish, you'll feed them for a lifetime. But what if you opened a whole community kitchen that taught people to cook and to fish, and well, now you're feeding a whole community and not just individuals. Imagine a church where everyone was equal and welcome, and where we all stood before God, humbled by our, well, communal and corporate brokenness and woundedness, all of us in need of God's wide mercy and grace and love being transformed into the person, into the people, into the community that God has created us to become. Imagine a church where we were keeping the best of faith, the love, the mercy, the faith, God, Jesus, justice, racial equity, and we were leaving the rest behind, the judgment, the exclusion, the rigid rules unwilling to help us get from where we're at to where God wants us to be. I've been meaning to ask, where do we go from here to build, well, that kind of church? <laughs>